The tiny Southeast European country of Montenegro became the 192nd member of the United Nations in 2006. However, unlike many other new UN members, it had in fact been an independent state previously. In this video, I'm going to explore its fascinating journey from independent state to independent state via at least five intermediate countries. Hello, my name is James Kerr Lindsay. Welcome to Independent Thinking, a channel dedicated to international relations, statehood, independence, and the origins of countries. The Republic of Montenegro lies at the eastern shores of the Adriatic Sea, in a region now known as the Western Balkans. It's one of the smallest countries in Europe, both geographically and in terms of population. Its 630,000 inhabitants reside in a country that's just 5,300 square miles or 13,800 square kilometres in size. Although it has access to the sea, Montenegro has always had a fearsome reputation for being all but impenetrable. Its highly mountainous terrain long kept it isolated from the outside world. Indeed, the very name Montenegro translates into English as Black Mountain. These natural defences served it well. Unlike other parts of the region, the country was never fully incorporated into the Ottoman Empire, which ruled the Balkan Peninsula for many hundreds of years until the 19th century. However, the story really begins in 1852, when the country became an independent principality. This was officially recognised by the international community at the Congress of Berlin in 1878. Then, just over 30 years later, in 1910, the Principality was upgraded to the Kingdom of Montenegro. During the First World War, Montenegro was invaded and occupied by Austria-Hungary. Although US President Woodrow Wilson called for Montenegro to be evacuated and its independence guaranteed as part of his famous 14 points, at the end of the war, Montenegro's exiled king was deposed and the country was incorporated into neighbouring Serbia. Just days later, on the 1st of December 1918, the country then became part of the newly formed Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, which was subsequently renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929. During the Second World War, Yugoslavia was invaded and occupied by Axis forces. At the end of the conflict, the old monarchy was deposed and a communist regime was installed under the famous partisan resistance leader Joseph Broz Tito. In November 1945, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia formally became the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, which was renamed the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia in 1963. Within this structure, Montenegro would become one of the six constituent federal republics, alongside Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Serbia and Slovenia. In 1980, Tito died. This effectively started a process that would eventually lead to Yugoslavia's disintegration. As a result, by early 1992, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was now left with just two republics, Serbia and Montenegro. This raised the question of Montenegro's future. On the 1st of March, the country went to the polls to decide whether it wished to remain a part of Yugoslavia or whether it should follow the other republics and become independent. The vote was overwhelmingly in favour of remaining in the common state. 96.8% said yes off a 66% turnout. As a result, on the 27th of April 1992, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia ceased to exist. It was instead replaced by the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, composed of Serbia and Montenegro. Importantly, as international legal opinion had decided that the Socialist Federal Republic no longer existed, this new version of Yugoslavia was deemed to be an entirely new country. This was confirmed when it was eventually admitted to the United Nations as a new member on the 1st of November 2000. Although Serbia and Montenegro had decided to remain joined, the Union nevertheless came under pressure in the years that followed. By 2000, it was clear that the two countries were drifting further and further apart. There were elements in Montenegro that clearly wanted full statehood. However, after all that had happened in the region, there was also a wider international desire to see the country remain united, especially in light of the 1992 vote. In 2003, and following strong pressure from the European Union, the two countries formed a new relationship. The Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was abolished, and the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro came into existence. 
This was an extremely loose arrangement that saw both countries retain a very high degree of autonomy. Crucially, the agreement also noted that after a period of three years, the member states have the right to initiate a procedure to change the statehood status or to leave the Union of States. As the three-year mark passed in February 2006, the leadership in Montenegro announced that it wished to terminate the state union and would hold a referendum to this end. In order to ensure that the decision carried as much legitimacy as possible, the European Union appointed an envoy to oversee the process. He argued that the final result must be based on at least 55% support off a 50% turnout. This was reluctantly accepted by the Montenegrin government. However, and controversially, it also decided that while Montenegrins living abroad could have a say on independence, those living in Serbia should be excluded from the vote. This was obviously done as it was felt that they would vote to preserve the union between the two countries. On 21st of May 2006, the people of Montenegro went to the polls to vote on whether to become an independent state. 86.49% of the 419,236 voters turned out. Of this number, 230,711 voted in favour and 184,954 voted against. The final result was therefore 55.5% in favour of independence. The necessary threshold had been met. On the 3rd of June 2006, Montenegro officially declared independence, once again becoming an independent state after 88 years. Just over three weeks later, on the 28th of June, the Republic of Montenegro joined the United Nations, becoming the organization's 192nd member. Despite its small size, Montenegro has had a fascinating history. After becoming an independent principality in the 19th century, and then a kingdom in the early 20th century, it was effectively annexed by the Kingdom of Serbia in 1918, before just a few days later becoming a part of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, which in turn became the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929. In 1945, Following occupation, it became a constituent republic in the newly formed Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, which was later renamed the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. When this dissolved at the start of the 1990s, it became one of the two parts of the new Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, which in turn became the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro in 2003. Then, finally, in 2006, it once again became an independent state, this time as a republic. In what is probably a record for any country, in the course of less than a century, it went from independence to independence by at least five other distinct countries, two further name changes and a military occupation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a moment to hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to get further content and press the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching and see you again next time.